welcome to this lecture so in the previous lecture we have just defined this function that was jumping to death and similarly we have defined this important function that was previously that is jumping function so in this jumping to death we have this dead timer and if this dead timer was zero that means we'll just set this current time as to be the death timer and similarly if the current timer minus the current death timer is if the greater than 500 that means what you're gonna do is we'll just in this is basically 500 millisecond and in that case we'll just have a smooth velocity or jumping with this gravity here so next thing we can do is we'll just define another function and that should be adjust add adjust rect here so this will take our current object and let's define it in this adjust rect make sure new rectangle has the same bottom and left location as the previous rectangle so this is important so let me say if it is a self dot rect should be rect and just get that rect and just get that the exposition and this is basically for the left and let us get the bottom here now so bottom would be self dot rect dot bottom so now what you can do is we'll just get the rect from the image and just assign it to rect so i'll say that is get the image that is from the self image and just get rect here this should be function and now what we can do is we have to just assign the rect x to be x and our the bottom of this rect to be bottom so this will be our adjust rect which basically take here that the new rect has the same bottom and a left location that is left location in a bottom is the previous rect so we'll just create new function that will be become a small function and it will just take our current mario object so in this we'll just make our character to be small so first we'll say this big should be obviously false here and next thing we'll just set the right frame and left frame here that should be here right frames now this right frame should be assigned is the right small normal frame i'll say that it is basically small and if you go to this sprite that is mario bros sprite it should be this small sprite that is normal small sprite so go back to this level 1.py and should be mario.py and in this self you just assign this right normal let me just type here right small normal frame and similarly this assign this left frame is self dot it should be left here and small left small normal frame so we have now right frame and left frame so next thing what you can do is we'll just get the bottom and the left from the rect so that should be from this get the rect first and just get the bottom and this is basically of the image and the next thing we'll just create this left here and this should be the x of this rect so we'll just set this image of the right frames uh, to be the image so that means just set this uh, right frame of the current object it should be right frame and right frame of oath uh, that is zero position that is basically this right frames should be now in this image and let's create the rect again that is through this self 
uh, that should be from image and just get the rect so we have now again the rect here and this in this rect we'll just get the bottom and the left again so from this self dot let me just make a space here and just make here bottom and that should be bottom and similarly self dot rect dot yux should be yux and this is basically to make sure that the new rect has the same bottom and a left location as the previous rect so we'll just into this so let me just put here yux not complex so it should be yux not the yux it should be left here not yux it should be this left which is basically self rect yux should be left which is previous rect now let's implement become big function so go here and just define become big and just get this current object that is mario and this big attribute for our mario should be true here and just get the right frame and just let me just copy these two statements and just paste it here so instead of small now it should be big here and let me just go in this small too and just make it big so we have now right frame and a left frame now what we can do is we'll just get the bottom like before and that should be self dot rec dot get the bottom and similarly the left and this is basically of this previous rect so that should be from this rect dot x position and now let's set this image at the right frame so basically in this case too we have created the same code so just paste it here and just assign the image as in right frames so next thing what you can do is we'll just create a new rect here out of this image and just get rect function call it the get rect function and what you can do here is now just assign this rect bottom that is of the previous one to this new that should be the bottom should be now bottom and similarly the rect and that is yux here should be left so this is basically to make sure that this previous rect bottom and a left is similar to that of new so we have created this become big and become small now it's time to just create another important function and that would be check if crouching function so let's say it should be check if crouching and just put the current object now we'll just check if the mario is crouching or not so for that i'll say if the self dot crouching and if it is true and if it is just a big crouching then what you can do is just get this bottom of this uh, rect basically from this bottom and just assign this x position of this rect to be the left dot x and next thing what you can do is we'll just check if the current object that is mario is facing right if it is facing right then what you can do we'll just extract that image as in the right frame we have a right frame 7 so if you wonder what is this right frame 7 was you can just go up here when you just extracted 
and that should be right frames so in here right frame we have just implemented here a right frames and we have all of the images here and we should have created a list here that should have the right image and the left image list so you can see here so we have here list that is maintained as a normal small frame and this is basically referring to zeroth position and this is basically for the one position so we have maintained here and we also have this invincible big list frame and all of these images so here now we'll just reference to seven that means we'll just get a small black frame images basically so just get that image here so that should be right frame and because we are just facing to right and just give seven here so else if it is not facing what you can do is just get that image obviously first you'll just get that image and that is our mario basically so first what you can do is we'll say left and here frames and just give seven here the same one as that was facing in right and that must be the black frame so self dot rect should be now just get this image new rect from this rect method and now you can just assign this bottom and a left previous rect of that previous rect so that should be self dot rect dot bottom should be assigned as that bottom of the previous rect and similarly self dot rect dot x to be left here so yes it should be left so we have completed our check if crossing function now it's time to just define another function that would be animation and it would just take the current object now just define it so it's basically adjust the mario image for the animation so we'll check for the state now first we should take the state and if it is equal to basically death state that would be jump death i'll say if it is uh, basically it should be death jump and just give this slash here or or i'll say self dot state is again again equal to c dot small to big we have this small to big or one more that is self dot state here again is equal equal c dot big to small slash or uh, basically that would be last so if it okay if, if it is self crossing so we'll just check here one more that would be or if it is self dot crossing so if it is the case what you can do just pass here just pass don't do anything so it is saying invalid annotation here so let's pass that and else if if it is not that case and if it is just facing to right then what you can do is just take that image that is our current image to be the right frame and just pass here our right frame which is basically the list and just pass here a frame index else you can do something that is just get that image of the mario is self dot left frames and just give the frame index here so this will be the end of the animation too and there are some of the few functions that we should work with and that will be covered in the next lecture so let me see 
that is changing to big and changing to small and this will be covered in the next lecture see you there